Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today we're going to be looking at composites, which is basically taking something from one image and putting it into another. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the source image from its background. And there are obviously various ways to do this. You can use the pen tool and then turn that into a selection. Or you can do what I've done here, which is to use the magic wand tool to get a rust selection and then use the quick mask tool to help it out wherever it's gone wrong. And we can just do that by painting on the, on the mask with a black or white brush. And then going back out of quick mask mode and using the refine edge tool. But here's one we cut out earlier. And I'm just gonna copy that by selecting copy merged from the edit menu and then paste it into our destination background and we can just reposition and resize that as necessary so the first thing to notice is the shadows on our subject don't really match the background at all and this is where we can use the color sampler tool so selecting the color sampler from the same menu used to select the eyedropper we're going to find a dark patch on the background here in the fireplace looks about right and just click anywhere around there and we're going to get a color sample point and now you should see in our info window under the point number one we've got a red green and blue value which represents the value of the color at exactly that point and now we want to do the same on our subject and here we're just using a point on the shoe, so just click there. And you can see in our info box now we've got a number two point with a different set of red, green, and blue values. And what we need to do is make number two match number one, because then our shadows will technically be the same color. So now select a curved adjustment layer and clip it onto our subject layer by alt clicking in between the two layers in the layers palette. And this means our curved adjustments are only going to affect the subject layer. So the red, green and blue values for our number one point were 17, 16 and 29. So to make our number two point match them, we're just going to open up the curved colour channels. Now our blue number two value is currently 15, so we want to take this up to 29. And we're going to do this by dragging the black point in the blue channel up, noticing how it changes the number in the in the info box until we reach 29. And this ensures this is much blue in our subject shadows now as there is in the background shadows. But this has just discolored the skin slightly, so we're just going to take the top right point on our blue channel down just to balance that effect out. And now we can go to a green channel. And because we're on 15 and we only need to get it to 16, we can raise our black channel by one point. And now on the red channel, we only need to raise it two points. So now we've got 17, 16, and 29 in our subjects, red, green, and blue channels in our subject shadow. So you can see just toggling that on and off, that already harmonizes much better with the background. So while well, it's technically the right colour now, the dress still looks a bit dark. So here we can just go to the red, green, blue channel and just raise the black point a bit by eye until it seems to blend more seamlessly with the background. And here I'm just raising it to about an output of about three points. And next we can just add some shadows around the feet. And to do that I'm going to add a new layer from the layers menu. And I'm going to select blending mode of soft light and tick the fill with soft light neutral colour 50% grey. Now we can just select the paintbrush and using a soft black brush we can just paint some shadows in around the feet. And just to bring the image together a bit more, we're going to add a curves layer. And 
and we're just going to raise the black point slightly to give us a slightly faded look. And we're just going to bring the midpoints down to bring back our shadows. And now going to the blue channel, I'm just going to raise the black point on the blues to give us more of a stylized look. And take it down by about the same amount in the highlights. 